M0FXB, welcome to my channel. This is the ICOM 7100 and we're using DigiRig and we're in WSJTX FT8 mode. DigiPi is by Craig, KM6LYW. You just download an image, go to the KM6LYW Patreon page for that. And the latest version is 18.1 and it's March 2024. Once you've got the image, put the SD card onto the Raspberry Pi 3B we've got here. You can use a Pi Zero, it looks very nice. And then you can buy these screens on AliExpress for about £8. They're colour screens and they tell you what you're doing and what you're connected to. Put the, uh, put the device in and all you do then is on your Wi-Fi, You'll get a page like this, click Wi-Fi, and then you'll be able to stop using the 10.0 and use your normal Wi-Fi, and then click another line, which will be here that says initialize. You'll get to a page like this. You put your core sign, WinLink password, APRS password, and just go down the list, add everything in. The important one is your rig number. For the 7100, it's 3041, but you, there is a list here you can click and then you put in your device file, TTY, and it's USB zero we selected for the 7100, and board rate we've put in 19200. Then to connect to WSJTX, click, w, click on here, WSJTX, and then these are browser links, because the good thing about this system is it does everything wirelessly. Uh, there is one cable going to the 7100, USB cable that goes here, look, uh, to the Pi, you can see there and then when we select WSJTX it's opened up this window here and now we did have to go back in and configure a couple of things we had we have to sorry we uh, file then settings we just had to select USB 0 here and also the rig once we did that it just started working that we can test the cat and the PTT which is fine and it just works. So once you're at this point, then you can start testing out other programs in DigiPy. So for example, if I go, if I turn off WSJTX, and then click say FL Digi on, wait for the green to appear to the left of FL Digi. Shouldn't take too long. And you'll also see it on the Pi, there's the green now. The Pi will also say FL Digi. And then if you go to the, the um, browser shortcuts via Wi-Fi, and you don't have to be on this PC, you can be anywhere in the house on any device. It could be your phone, and look, we're now connected. Now again, you probably have to do some more configuration for this, okay? And I, I've never used FL Digi. But you are still connected. If you look at the bottom there, you can see the waterfall coming in. And um, once you configure it, and I will have a go soon. So the main thing is that with DigiPi, and there's a lot to learn and, and scroll up and join the community. I mean, look at the programs it runs. I'm going to try Packet Radio in a minute on this 7100. APRS, Web Chat, WinLink Server. WSJTX, JS8 Core, FL Digi, Slogan Scan, it just goes on. It's a very quick way to, you know, to try all these programs out from one, really from one place and, and have the portability of the wireless, uh, the way you can view it all and control it all wirelessly. You know, because this could be my mobile phone, it does, or my tablet, or my laptop. So thanks for watching. You know, it's not an expensive way of doing things. Uh, and uh, try it out I, and I'll be testing it on other radios and I have tested it on the 705 and the 7610 and it works great. Bye for now.